Hello and welcome to the workshop. We are back at it. Another day, another sneaker. You know how we do. Workshop boys, we out here. I hope everyone is having a splendid day. We are having fun down here. We're talking sneakers. We're chopping it up. We're living life. We just got done recording our weekly podcast. We were not talking sneakers. Disclaimer, it is not a sneaker podcast. We talk about everything other than sneakers. Music, sports, food, life. To quote a wise man, more life. We will put a link in the description of this video to those or for those of you who want to go check that out. We have a ton of fun recording it and the feedback on it has been great. So if you're into podcasts, go check it out. With that said, today we got a pair of sneakers, grail level footwear right here. Grail level, imaginary drum roll. Brrr. Bang, bang, the Air Jordan 13 Bin 23. released back in August of 2010 and retail was $175. Now, there were only 1,734 pairs made. That is super duper limited. I mean, for a Jordan Retro, that is beyond limited. Now, if you know me, you know I am a burgundy-aholic. Burgundy boys, gang, gang, gang. This has always been a shoe that I've been after. Well, since 2010, basically. And they have never been cheap. Other than the retail price, they have never been cheap. You know how some sneakers are way up and then they crash way down in the back... These have been expensive. Sure, there's been some fluctuation, but they've been too expensive for me to ever pull the trigger on. I've been close, but I just can't bring myself to do it. This is not my pair. I'm kind of trying to talk myself into it or maybe out of it. I don't even know. But I wanted to dig into the crates a little bit. I said this was going to be something that we did once in a while that we started to do more was break something out, something we don't own, but a gem from the past. Because I mean, we only own so many sneakers. There are a ton of pairs that we don't own. Pairs like these. And man, oh man, let me just say, I forgot how insane the quality on these are. I've had pairs in hand before, but literally forgot just how nice they are. These are exquisite. The whole Bin 23 collection is incredible, ultra pretty. Premium. Every sneaker they did turned out amazing, but these are by far my favorite. White, burgundy, tan, and this tan suede is nuts. This is softer than a baby kangaroo pouch. It is next level. The tongue, the leather on this tongue is so soft, your hand almost melts into the sneaker. Of course, you got the Bin 23 wax stamp. Speaking of melting, the Jordan 13 hologram, silky interior. These things are just mutabella, to quote buckets behind the camera. Buckets, give us a, a mutabella from behind the camera. A mutabella. These sneakers are that. Definitely one of my favorite Jordans of all time. Definitely a grail level sneaker for your boy. Something about that burgundy just gets me. Even though here they are and yet they aren't. So close yet so far, one single tear falls from my face. Shame some sad, maybe Sarah McLachlan music. I I'm trying to think how much I would really pay for these. I know what I wouldn't pay, but what would I pay? I'd say 700 bucks. I think I would definitely pay 700, but I think they go for like twice that, maybe even more in my size. So this is gonna be the one that got away. Unfortunately, I don't know that I will ever own a pair. Something else to consider, Jordan retros don't hold up all that well. Sneakers in general don't hold up all that well. And yes, the quality on these is premium, which helps, but nonetheless, Sneakers still fall apart, and I say all that to say, these are almost 10 years old. That has to be factored in because I like to wear my sneakers. Imagine spending that much money on a shoe and it falling apart on you. Talk about agony. That would be rough. I, I don't know that my heart could handle that. You know, Buckets and I were actually just talking. We're not really collectors. Like, we, we wear our sneakers. We like to wear shoes. We don't collect anything else. Like, some people collect Funko Pops and coins and comic books and Buckets. Is there anything that you collect? No. 
No, I mean, I guess we did kind of baseball cards, basketball cards when we were little, but we don't collect anything, we wear things. So that has to be factored in. I don't know how many more years these have. Like the lifespan is, it's not that long. What are your thoughts? How do you feel about the Bin 23 series or collection, I should say? How do you feel about this pair in particular? Which is your favorite? Which is your Jordan Grail or what is your Jordan Grail? And how much would you pay for them? More importantly, however you feel, leave a comment below and let us know all Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place right here at the workshop. Until then, hasta la vista, baby.